to my channel. Today I shared with you my go-to makeup look and this is the makeup look I wear anytime I want to feel really great about myself. I think it's important that we all have that go-to look and I wear this day to day if I just want to feel fabulous. I wear this to any kind of event, weddings, anything. We're going out tonight, but I didn't have very long to get ready, so I knew this was the makeup look I was going to go to. And all you need for this is some matte brown eyeshadows, and I used a liquid cream eyeshadow, and you're good to go. This eyeshadow, by the way, is from Essence, but if you don't have this or you can't find it, then I know Revlon has some good creamy eyeshadows like this as well. I think they're called the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art. It's got a cream eyeshadow on one end and a glitter on the other end, but those are really good. If you enjoyed today's video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Now let's get started. My skin is cleansed and moisturized and ready to go. I'm just going to apply some lip balm because my lips feel crazy dry. So that can just sit there while we do everything else. I am going to prime my eyelids using my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I always prefer to set my primer, so I'm going to use my Cody Airspun Face Powder. You could use any kind of skin toned eyeshadow or anything you like. Now to start my eyeshadow, I am using the original Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette and I am mixing the shades Silk Cream and MFEO together and I'm using that same big fluffy brush and running this all through my crease area. Next I am going to take a blending brush in the shade Pooter and run that through the crease all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner and I'm making sure I take it fairly high up, but not as high as we took the first shades. Now I'm going to take the shade Buns on the same brush and focus this mostly on the outer corner and then slowly start bringing it towards the inner corner. I wanna start it on the outer corner first because taking darker shades into the inner corner can easily start getting out of control, so I just like to slowly build that up. Now I want to start deepening up the outer corner quite a bit, so I'm mixing the shades Chip and Mocha, and I'm just going to really pack that on the outer corner of my eye, and I want the most depth to be towards the lash line, and then just kind of blend it up into the crease just a bit. Now I'm just going in with the second blending brush I used, just to go over everything and make sure it's nice and soft. Now for my lid shade, I am using a cream liquid kind of eyeshadow. This is from Essence. This is their Metal Shock eyeshadow. This is in the shade Solar Explosion. Now what I like to do with this is it comes out with lots of product on here. You can either use a separate brush and just get some of the product on there to apply it, or you can use this applicator, but if you use this, I just recommend wiping some of the excess off. So I like to wipe it a little bit and then I just start brushing it on the first half of my lid. Once I have some product on there, I just open my eye so that I can see where the eyeshadow transfers. It lets me see how far I need to bring this up because I do have slightly hooded lids. Once I've got it on, I just take a finger and kind of soften the edge of that. Now I'm taking my blending brush that I use the darkest shadows on and I'm just going over that harsh line to blend it in. Now I'm going to apply liner and lashes. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution liquid liner pen and I'm just doing a very thin line just so my lashes have something to sit on and they blend in. And for my lashes, I'm using the Eyelore Luxe Lashes in the style Opulent. While my lash glue is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my foundation. Today, I'm using the L'Oreal Pro Glow. I think this is the only foundation I have that is my shade right now because I do have some tanner on. Now 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my whole face. Since I had to use a really glowy foundation and I do have oily skin, I need to set it pretty well. I am again using my Cody Airspun powder. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the eyes and then we'll come back to the face. When I do this makeup look, I sometimes like to use a dark liner on my inner rim and sometimes I like to use a white or sometimes I use nothing. Tonight I'm gonna go ahead and use white. So I'm using my NYX Jumbo Pencil. Now for the lower lash line, I am again going to mix two shades. You don't have to mix all your eyeshadows. I don't know why, I just always do that. But this time I'm going to take the shade Buns and Mocha and I'm taking it on a kind of short, dense packing brush and I'm just gonna pack that along the lower lash line. And now I'm just gonna take any blending brush to blend out that lower lash line. Lastly, I am going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone with the shade Beam. I just finished off the eyes with a little bit of mascara on the lower lashes and now I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I'm just gonna do this off camera, but I'm using this NYX eyebrow pencil. This is just their micro brow pencil. I'm going to quickly contour my face using the e.l.f. contour palette and I'm gonna mix the two bronzer contour shades together. I am going to bake that contour a little bit with my Cody Airspun powder once again. I'm going to highlight my cheeks with this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Precious Petals. And then for my blush, I'm using Milani Luminoso. I'm going to set my brows with my NYX Control Freak Brow Gel. These hairs are all crazy now. And then for my lips, I'm using my NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade Soft Spoken. And then I'm gonna go over top of that with my Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer in the shade Nude Eclipse. I'm gonna sweep away my bake and then we'll be done. All right, I just finished getting ready and I am all done. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you subscribe if you're not already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.